Morgan only just stopped herself from crowing with delight. What a perfectly delicious set-down. Suddenly, she was regarding the Earl in a totally different light. A man of such quick wit and assurance of manner was a man after her own heart. He reminded her of her brothers. Thank you, Lord Rostorn, she said, as if nothing had occurred between his asking and her answering. Perhaps the set after this next? Immaculately dressed and well-groomed as he was, she thought, there was something faintly disreputable about his appearance, though she would not have been able to put into words what it was. Perhaps it was just that he was considerably older than she, and must therefore know more of the world and its ways. Not that she would ever admit to any naivete. There was something nonchalant, something ever so slightly dangerous about him. It will be an honour I shall anticipate with the greatest pleasure for the next half hour, the Earl said. It must be his lazy eyes, she decided, and his lazy voice. But no, there was something else about his voice that explained more clearly the impression of slight danger she was getting. He spoke with a French accent. Morgan fanned her face slowly and watched him as he turned and walked away. The fellow is fortunate that there are ladies present, Lord Gordon was saying to his circle of cronies, his voice shaking with anger. It would have given me great satisfaction to slap a glove in his face. Morgan ignored him. My dear Lady Morgan, Lady Carrick said when the Earl was out of earshot, the mysterious Earl of Rosthorn must be very taken with you to have made the effort to be introduced to you. Mysterious, Mamma? Rosamond asked. Oh, yes, he is quite the mystery, Lady Carrick said. He succeeded to his father's title and fortune a year or so ago, but no one had seen him for years before that, or has seen him during the year since, except now here in Brussels. It is rumoured that he has been hiding out on the continent, gathering intelligence for the British government. He is a spy? Rosamond gazed after him in wide-eyed rapture. There may very well be some truth in the claim, her mother said. It would certainly explain his appearance here in Brussels, when intelligence concerning the French must be greatly in demand. Morgan's interest was further piqued. A dangerous man indeed. But the sets were forming for the next dance, and the orchestra was poised to play again. Lieutenant Hunt Mathers stepped up to her made her a stiff military bow, and extended one arm.